Welcome back to my bathroom. And welcome to video seven in the hair color series. Here's your daily dose of doctor. Yay. Today, we're gonna be getting into full, full, full. <laughs> we're getting into foils. <laughs> We're getting into foils. Before we start this origami, make sure you subscribe. And if you're joining me from cosmetology school, we are in page 699 today. Foiling is just a technique where you put hair inside foils to create depth or dimension in the hair color. You can put actual color to make low lights or bleach or lightener to make a lighter color or highlights inside the foils. So when we're talking about the types of foils, we have foil and paper. The paper looks like this. It comes in little pre-cut sheets and you can get them in a bunch of different sizes. They have some that are like this long, ladies. It's a very thin piece of paper. It has a shiny side and it has a matte side. Then we have this foil roll, which is a select -a size. And it looks like this. It has a little thing. This type of foil on the roll tends to be a lot thinner but it's nice because you can make it as long as you want. So if someone has like a horse mane, you're gonna need to use a select a size. Then we have the pre-cut foils. The length is already cut for you, so they're all the same size. They tend to be a little bit more expensive than the roll, and they are a little bit thicker. When I'm working with foils, which honestly I use paper the most, it's my favorite, but if I'm working with foils, I use this foil brand. It's my favorite because of the thickness. And if you can see here, can you see that? It has a textured pattern on both sides. That helps grip the hair color when you're putting it on so it doesn't slippery slope on you. Like this one, this cheaper one has no texture. If you're at home, you can absolutely just use Reynolds Wrap, Kroger Foil, whatever you've got, and just cut it into little sheets that look like this. I believe these are six by nines. I don't know, math's not really my thing. They also make the foils in these nice little colors, like this. Matches my shirt, doctor. These are really good to use when you're doing more than one hair color. So if you're doing a pattern on a highlight, blonde, blonde, brown. Sometimes when your clients come in, it's just a full blown therapy session for them. And honestly, like I kind of get into it. So you're like all in on Sarah's third ex-husband's new wife's girlfriend and you forget what color you're doing. So if you use these foils to remind you, blonde, blonde, brown, blonde, blonde, brown, you don't have to take that extra step to open up the foil. Then you also don't miss what's happening to Sarah. Well, Sarah's girlfriend. And I'll link these below. They make these in a lot of different colors. Well, like five, blue, gold, and lighter pink, and obviously silver. And the last one, which I don't have because I don't use it, is this, I forgot what it's called, but I'll put a picture up here, but it is the texture of, it's kind of like a foam, but it's really thin. What is that called? But it's soft and squishy, and it's usually like a matte white. They make those that are washable. The idea is really nice because it's better for the planet, the earth, but that's a lot of work to wash out each foil, paper, foam, whatever this is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna do it. Now I'm gonna show you how to fold a foil. This, this tape is coming off of the redneck salon. <laughs> we got a doctor. For this to stick, we're gonna need to use a product inside the foil. So I'm just going in with Verb. This is a toning purple conditioning mask. Ooh. Speaking to me. Pretty. So this conditioner is gonna represent our color. In the next video to the series, I'm gonna show you how to do weaving and slicing, which is just a technique to go in the foil to create different dimensions. But for this, I'm just gonna do a slice, which is a chunky highlight. Also, ignore the placement. I'm gonna be showing you how to do these on a horizontal line. But if we were really doing a highlight or low light, we would want to take these diagonal around the face. So this is just to demonstrate. Also, we still have our little highlight baby from a couple weeks ago. Very nice. <laughs> when we're foiling, we're typically using a pintail comb, pintail comb, or a rat tail comb, which is a basic comb that has a very thin wire backing. That's the best comb to use for foiling. I'll show you up here. I have some, but I don't know where they're at because my daughter right now is working on her foiling. So she's using them and we share around here, y'all. The comb I'm actually using today is not one I would recommend, just to note that. You can also use a chopstick. That works really nice as well. All right, so first I'm gonna show you how to use this paper. So we're gonna take a thin slice of hair, grab a paper, and the paper, if you're using this, it tends to stick together. So you can take this, 
do this just like you would do with napkins for a party. That way it can separate this and they're easy to grab. See? The matte side of the paper, that's gonna help it stick because this is very shiny and slick. It's basically like glorified wax paper. So if you put the color or lightener on the shiny side, it slips. The matte side helps it stick. All you do is you literally match the part line, horizontal, horizontal, put the hair over it. Putting our color on, then you put two little pinchers in the middle and you just rotate it until it meets the top. And then you kind of press, press, press to stick it together. You want to leave this air pocket. Can you see that where you can still, whoa, son. <laughs> You want air to be able to flow through this so it can help oxidize. You do not want to ziplock this, which means going like this, like you would a ziplock bag, because what that's going to do is it's going to push that color up in that little seam that you ziplocked and you're gonna have a stripe. For the foil, we'll use this pretty one. You can take your rat tail comb, create a little lip here, just like this. Having your comb inside the foil is gonna help you get it as close to the scalp and keep it sturdy. So once you create your little lip, you take it and put it in the hair, hold tight on the hair, and then slip the comb out. Then you would press down to get that little air pocket out of the top here where the comb was. I always put the lip towards the hair, and the reason for that is because that lets me know where I'm gonna start applying my color which is right here. I'm gonna apply horizontally this way. And then once I get past this little lip here, that visually tells me it's time to be placing this vertical so I don't get a very defiant line to create a tiger stripe. I need to stagger it so it's a more natural highlight. Flipping the little lip backwards is also really beneficial for the reason when you put the color in, you have this little lip here to save you in case anything wants to expand out of the foil because color and lightener works off heat and our scalp naturally generates heat. Like touch your head right now, it's kind of hot. It makes lightener puff up and swell and sometimes if you put it too close to the foil, it will swell out. So having the lip on the bottom will help save you from those tiger, tiger will help save you from those tiger stripes, excuse me. <laughs> English is hard again today. So you're gonna place your foil Get rid of the air pocket, apply our color, and this is what I mean by giving me a visual aid. So everything is horizontal right now. Get our little tail up. Then here, I'm going to be going vertical. You can take your foil, close it halfway, just like we did the paper. Again, we're not zip locking it. If anything, you're just tap, 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 tap. Take your comb with the teeth side or really the back side, it doesn't matter. Make a little indent to help guide you to fold it. Take the teeth part of the comb to make a little indent to fold over. You don't wanna fold it way in the middle. It needs to be on the outside. And you don't want to redirect the hair inside if that makes any sense. And then match the other side, just like that. You can also do it where you're just doing it one fold. So you've put the color in, fold it in half once, Take your comb, fold these sides. It's a little hard to do on myself. I would want it to look cleaner if I was doing it to an actual person, not only just for my own sake, but for their sake. It lets your client know that you are doing the best you can, that you're being neat. And also you have to worry about everyone like taking selfies, like, look, I'm at the salon, nobody cares. But they're taking selfies like, get my hair done today. And you don't want it to be looking all crazy. Like you wanna attract more clients. But you could also fold this little lip like this. This will help secure it and allow room for you to start folding in the foiling in the back. If you didn't want to do the rat tail technique where you fold it over, you could pre-fold your foils by taking your foil, creating a little lip here at the top. And this is actually what we had to do in beauty school. I went to Paul Mitchell and we weren't allowed to use the rat tail comb. I don't really know why other than it just didn't look as neat as this. Never really got an explanation, but we always had to do this method, which does take a little bit longer. So one little lip here, and then you're going to fold it again like so see that this is a thick support at the top so you don't need the wire rat tail comb again going in with a very thin 
slice. Take this, your pre-folded foil, put it close to the scalp. Take your fingers at the side, apply your hair color. This is what I do if I'm in a hurry, but fold it in half, tap, 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 not zip blocking, and just fold the corners, just like this. That's the quickest way while still having a secure foil. Now, if you're just doing a quick, I call it rainbow sectioning where you're just doing this, which is what is easier to do on yourself, just this front paneling. You could absolutely take the foil, put it over the comb, do one of these, apply the color, fold it in half and be done with it. But you have to remember that this thing is going to slide out and should not really be moved back and forth. The reason you secure these sides is not only because we wanna create a little bag, vacuum, whatever you wanna call it, to create the most heat and warmth because warmth activates color, makes it work better, especially lightener. But we want to be able to move this thing around, pin it up, pin it back without any color leaking out of it. Can't really move this thing because look, it's already loosey-goosey on you. It's gonna fly out when that color bleeds onto the other hair you're gonna have a zebra stripe. So there we have it, Foiling 101. I can't wait to see you next week. We're gonna be going over some foiling techniques, weaving and slicing, how to correctly put the hair inside the foil. I just have to pick out what color I'm gonna do. I haven't quite decided yet. So anyway, that's it. I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool.